grace. Oh, <gasps> uh, what? Wait, what? What? Carol? What? Why are you being a perv? What the? What? What the hell? Why I should? Your Highness, I. Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. Oh my gosh. Hey! That is silk! Be careful! Give it to me! He wanted to keep the Duchess's dress. I mean, it doesn't. I like that she wants to take the charge in this, but I also don't know how useful she'll be fighting. I don't know if she meant fighting or she just means to be the figurehead at the front. You know, the general needs to be, you know, fighting from the front instead of the back type thing, which I admire. But, and I also does not, just, I can see that go, ripping of the dress thing. Like, it's getting in the way. It's like, whoop -ah. She's like, nobody panic. And then she rips her dress off. Like, okay. All right, then. Yeah, that's not going to incite a panic when your duchess is running around in her pantaloons. Oh my god, please don't, Your please don't. Seems right at home in the saddle. Uh, okay. Uh, here we go. Oh god. Oh boy. It's home! It's home! Clear the path! Clear the way, I said! Mm -hmm. Your grace. Fret mm. not. Feed the gossips. <laughs> oh, that's true because she's riding around. Whoa. Uh, just around the corner. Hurry. Running around with a man while she's not wearing a dress. Must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. I mean, we need to find those things too. We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. Um, Watch it. it doesn't surprise me that like these are passionate people, you know, like it doesn't surprise me that she did the whole dress ripping thing and that people will just be like that the gossip isn't a big deal. She's like, haha, and she owns it, you know, through here. Yeah, that looks a bit odd. Hunt place out. Then we would split up. No. No! You're gonna let the Duchess you what? You can't have the Duchess run around by herself! But I nab the Phoenix egg. That will be quickest. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Garrett. It's not a real fish. Look there. Towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. It turns around over there. Look. Not a, a real golden fish and unicorn. the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you it's have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix encounters. Why didn't you just clear? keep your then dress let's get to it. with you? Why didn't you? If it, if it removes itself easily, I just. And why why did it give me a time time amount to ask the question of the of the fish or the unicorn horn? And then I got to ask both. Fiorano of the twelve ninety vintage. I do encourage you oh, to try. Okay, thank you. I am sure I know the diddle for the dance. Uh thank you. Are you like Okay, I wasn't sure if she was like going at my speed or not. Hire a witcher. Your Highness. It's a good thing. Your oh! Yeah, uh, good luck. Good luck, I guess. Ow! My game, the frame rate's really bad all of a sudden. Like, what the heck? Around here, oh! it's wine, wine, oh! and more wine. Oh! But me, am I invisible? <laughs> okay, I apologize. Um, he's like, why am I? But I prefer brandy. Am I invisible? Okay. Anyway, I had to um, I had to stop the recording really quick because I forgot to change the recording location to a to the to the hard drive, to the external hard drive. So it was taking up a ton of space on my laptop, which has like no space left. So 
Bon Vivian, she's got a name. Uh. Perhaps an apple will work, or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister, were you still a virgin. Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. Hey, oh, folks, gonna ha. have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? <laughs> it's not even a real unicorn, but it's probably a mad raging horse. <laughs> Eating a baguette! What the heck? Just baha, we we baguette. Like what the heck? <laughs> you do, okay? Use the Witcher sense to find a treat for the on unicorn. Um. Uh huh. Crispy apple. Should like that like any other damn horse. <laughs> I have a new quest item. All right, I gotta put it in my pocket. Time to put it in the pocket. Oh, it's already in my pocket. Excellent. Or cold games not likely to tempt a unicorn. Or not, or not unicorn. Yeah, it's not a unicorn. It's just got like a sheet tied to its head. What the heck? Oh, I'm trying to be very... I was like, why am I going so slow? I would take away the toxicity right now, but I think it's kind of fun to have, like, a really toxic-looking face in the cutscenes. An apple. Yum, yum. Uh-huh. Unicorn. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, put it Gun in my back huge. pocket. You better off on horseback. Oh. oh. Okay. We're gonna. We're gonna. Really? We're gonna ride the unicorn? Okay. Geralt, I don't know if that's your best decision Movement. you've ever made, but. Ah. Also, it's hard to control hey, yeah. you when you're on the horse. And fish should be easy to spot once I'm under. Get in there. Get in there. Jesus. Did uh, someone just dive in the water? Perhaps sure. that's the way to do it. Sure. If you're a peasant. Eh, you're afraid of the water. There it is. Yeah, how else are they going to catch it? Because it's not a real fish. Oh, there's multiple. Okay. Toppy. There's no more over there. Okay. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Candy. Oh, they get candy. Swim on, good man. Oh, they're making fun of me. Wait, stop, it's important. Ooh, cutscene swimming is not the greatest. King Comorant, Sire, accept this offering we bring. Prithee cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace. When a soul of good or ill repute 
brings me a gift. Fitting tribute. No! A key. Okay! Okay, bye! Why you uh, watch the She's crying! I've ruined the game. It's like Orlay, right? You're supposed to keep up appearances and stuff. It's like a, it's like a whole little thing Majigi they've got going on. And I messed it up. I'm a terrible person. But I like that guy. Bye. I'm a, oh god, this is slow. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Where's my horse at? Do I have Roach or am I just riding the... Leave him. Leave it. You can do it. Alright, jump off! Alright. Hey, it's my horse! Let's go, unicorn! Let's go- oh! Come on now. Whoa! A jaguar! A living one! Not just a pelt or anything! It's a, an actual jaguar! <laughs> Unless it's like not and it's painted, but it sure looks real. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I talk to this guy? I'm really curious. Behold the focused, fearful symmetry. Yeah, freaking. You look dressed Behold up, but I think that's real. Far away yeah. Oh, thanks, I will. Wow, lady, you are just hiking up that hill. He's probably already Oop. dead. That <laughs> uh, Damien or me? Yes, a face no one to get to tell. What? What was? Talking about me? A face nobody please, could what? Your grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Yeah, why are they refusing the Duchess? Geralt, at last. Got a key. They're the arguing clue. with their Duchess. Show me yours. When she's in her pantaloons. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse. With a head of hard cheese. Ha <laughs> Uh, someplace crypt. Got no idea where he's hiding. Uh. I got no idea. Too cryptic, this riddle. Got no idea what it's talking about. Then be silent and let me think. Look, if we take Rome, hollow it out. Fill it with ease. The letters, that is. Oh. If it green, then mouse, but starting with what heads heart cheese. Why it's greenhouse? Hmm. Pretty clever, and it sounds right to me. There are several greenhouses in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks, and the key to it looks just like the one we found. Ah. Let's go. I like how all Geralt's answers had exclamation points, including that. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> I'm level 39. I can have the big, uh, big boy armor. Ah. She's going to follow me in. You're the Duchess. I don't think you have any heirs, or do you have anybody who can secede you? Uh-oh. Oh! <gasps> Oh! What? Was he wearing a mask? Oh, what the? Fuck? Whoa! Oh. Whoa! It's like Jack the Ripper. That? Oh my!
my gosh, that is some kind of vampire. I'm a witcher! Look at me go! I'm a witcher! And those barrels somehow held me up. I'm not a vampire, but I'm a witcher. And why would the vampire be... Maybe to get it because he doesn't want to be seen. But I don't think I'm... Okay, also, that last vampire who we met in a place similar to this, remember the one from the morgue? Like, he also had a problem with the moral depravity of the age, and that's why he was doing all those gruesome murders. I feel like that was a hint for this, maybe? Let me just throw that out there fully and completely. Because I, I said it, I sort of said it. Hi. This belonged to you, maybe? It's dead. You gross. But you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not uh -huh. know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Plenty. Even more of the guilty, though. You're next. Hmm. I think not. You see, I have something to do still. Besides, he's a full-fledged vampire. Just one. I probably... Not counting yours. No! Wow. Alright, hold up. Is he the actual this feel okay? Really? Like, this isn't the end of the DLC, right? Like, uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little bit weird about this all of a sudden. Uh, I still have some stuff going, and I will take another black blood. Oh, 
He's not quite dead, but I might do a finishing blow to test him, I guess. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No, he's my friend. What? Yes, Geralt. It's me. Uh, Regis? Uh, you all right? Uh, as well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak four, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> it was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. How did he... No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. I like his voice. And was he pulled... Uh... Did it pull his heart out? Because I feel like aren't vampires not supposed to be able to regenerate from having their heart pulled out? <laughs> so we do have a vampire pal. Wow. But they know each other. Because like, who was it that was saying you were supposed to stay where you were, regenerate? Was this guy, Re Regis, was talking to, uh, to, the, to the beast or whatever? But, and if he was melted into a column, I assume he's from a previous game or possibly a book or something. Um, then, I mean, how did he become a vampire? Or was he always a vampire? Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? And I Geralt looked truly from pleased. The one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. <laughs> Local serial killer seems to obey you. Maybe you could talk him out of it, convince him to stop murdering. Why do you think I'd come? It shall not be easy, as death laugh can be rather stubborn. Though you must certainly recall that neither do I surrender readily. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is, how would you humans put it, more bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a good <laughs> job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. Uh... Seem pretty damn sure of that. I am, because I know him very well. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Does clothing regenerate? Because I will have 64? to... I remember, I will have to be that upset was with that. three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus... A legend was born. Oh. Oh man, these are both both questions. 
why did he kill the monster and why but why tell me this you know like that might be a more general one but I want I feel like I should know about Detlef specifically okay let's do the general one awfully good of him but do I need to know this yes so you'll understand Detlef is no cold-blooded killer I believe he's landed in some mess and he sees no way out what makes you say that Vilgefort melted my body Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or so he's to always been a vampire. nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. Ah! One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Dead laughs trump card. Interesting, I like this instinct. guy. His tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, so we knew he was a vampire. We've been palsies with him for a while now, and he's been a vampire for a long time. So Geralt thought that he, when he was blasted, he was basically dead, even though he kind of wasn't. I hope he wasn't conscious, because that's terrible. But this guy brought him back, like, with his own blood. And that's something, I mean, if it's something that's a big deal to vampires, you wouldn't do it lightly, knowing what sort of bond it could create. So that, this is really cool. Anything specific? Some set of things that would be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men. Their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games. Knows not what it means to lie, deceive. Oh. <laughs> suggesting he's maladjusted and venting <laughs> his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. So did he just get here? Did uh did Regis is that his name just get here? Gotta find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beau Claire is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then. Just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. There's sweat beating on now, his forehead. now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd makeshift quarters at Mela Chaise Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Peace. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem, <clears throat> sirs. We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. So he did die. I think we were lying about investigating the place. Time to Emil. Okay, so Regis was one of his names. Tin dolls, stuffed animals, baby dolls, grown up dolls, building bricks, jigsaws, knight's outfit. So these are children's toys? Uh huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Deeds of beauty shall never go unrewarded, and the land shall never lie fallow. Hmm. 
Okay. I think the guy just ran here because it was convenient. I don't think I'm going to find any clues. But I am going to loot. Even though I think a lot of this is just crafting material. Can I climb? La cage à four. Cage? Cage? Whoa. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's actually see really quick. I did, I sold the other ones, but I wonder. Um. Well, I wonder if I could get, like, a. Uh, the, like, uh, the, the chest plate. That'd be cool just to see. Mm, is there another ladder? Wait. Oh! My beloved Claw, you have no idea how happy I am that the warehouse has been closed. How good it is to know each time we wish to embrace, no one shall stand in our way. Neither my father nor your mother. It shall never occur to them when we rendezvous in this shuttered warehouse. I already laugh at the thought of them clambering over rooftops like before, or looking through the rushes by the river. Even now, writing these words, I feel how much I would like to see you. I hope it will be like yesterday. I cannot speak for you, but as for me, I would just as well never set foot out of this our warehouse, our wonderland. Okie dokie. Alright, maybe there isn't anything that I can loot over there. Alright. Odd! Really odd! <laughs> I was hoping there'd be some sort of clue, but... Oh my gosh, when am I gonna pick up the Grandmaster recipes? But, I think I will call this one here. It'll probably be two long parts. I, uh, yeah, probably two long parts. But, so that was really exciting. I was, wow, like two full-fledged, they're full-fledged vampires. Like, that's so neat. And he prefers the company of lesser vampires, and I'm really sorry I killed her, but if she had just walked away... I wouldn't have killed her. Geralt was like, nah, it's cool. I don't have to kill you. And she's like, yeah, I do. And he's like, you massacred a Bruxa I was attached to. I was like, it's not my She locked me in the room with her. <laughs> but this will be cool. We get to, like, meet two of them and, like, get to know, kind of get to know the other one through the, the one that we're actually palsies with. So this is really exciting. Wait, what's this? Oh. So it gets its own little fancy. Oh. They dole out rewards for kind traits. Okay. Good to know. That's where I get my rewards. All right. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm really looking forward to going through this DLC and seeing all the cool stuff. But yeah, I will see you in the next one.